this is a short demo on showing a DG1000 for standalone data logging. And a DG1000 can be used to monitor two pressures for extended periods of time. So you might want to be monitoring house pressure and maybe water heater vent pressures, or maybe see how often and how long the uh, your furnace or other exhaust fans are running, or sub-slab pressures for, for radon or other pollutants to uh, make sure those gases aren't getting into your house, or maybe hospital room pressures or pressures between a warehouse and office space. If you have chemicals in the warehouse you don't want to get into the office, you want to maintain a negative between the warehouse and the office. And you will need to use our TEC PC software for a, for a PC computer um, and that is used to put the DG1000 in data logging mode and used to retrieve the data. The data is saved on the, stored on the DG1000, and then you would download that in both tech log and a CSV format that can be, uh, so that raw data can be opened on a uh, Excel spreadsheet. First step is you want to confirm your DG1000 as the latest update that includes data logging, and that would be software version 1.7.626 or newer. And you'll need to download our free TEC gauge for PC software and our tech log software on your computer um, from our website energyconservatory.com. Okay, next we'll do a demo of the data logging. Okay, the next step is to turn on your DG1000 and, and make a connection between your DG1000 and your computer, either a cable connection or Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Launch the TEC Gauge app on your PC. Okay, it'll find the, the gauge your, your computer is connected to and you want to click on that one and then click on the connect button. We'll bring that over. And we'll go up to settings. So click on the settings gear icon and we'll go to logging menu and we'll give that session a title. Okay, house outside on channel A and channel B is water heater to house. Okay. And it, um, then the sample interval, I'm going to change to one second. You can see with five seconds, you could data log for 404 days. <laughs> That's how much memory there is on the left on the DG1000. And I'm going to change that sample interval to one second. And now we, we could uh, data log for 80 days if we wanted to. And it looks like we already have some data on there. So I'm going to clear that data. It says all data will be erased. Yes. Now it says start logging. So once I click start logging, um, it's going to put that into data logging mode now. And then after I'm done logging, I'm going to switch. I've got a gauge that's been data logging for an hour or so. And I am going to connect to that one. We'll show you how to download that data after it's been data logging for a while. I'm going to open that TEC gauge app again. We're going to connect to that gauge. And we'll go up to the settings, the gear icon settings menu again. And go to the logging menu, and now we're gonna download data. Okay, it's asking us to give that a name. So that's um, created both a, data, uh, a tech log file and an Excel file. Will look like this. It, it, it was collecting data for, for over an hour, so it has lots of data and you can either use that to make graphs or, or whatever you might want to use that for. We can look at, at that data in, uh, in the tech log format. With this, you can move the red line across and see data at, at any point. So we're seeing pressures, left scale, and, and time along the bottom. We can zoom in on, on any portion of that data if we want to look at it on a, on a closer time scale. Okay, that's it for our, our demo. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website at energyconservatory.com.